Hi, so there's a little jamming. Now we're gonna get more into building these templates in Ableton Live, creating the scales. Let's get right to it. Today we're going to uh, focus again on the MIDI Sprout and the first order of business is to bring in the MIDI into Ableton Live and make something out of the raw data. If you listen to the way the MIDI Sprout is sounding right now, okay, so I have a pre-selected patch of voice um, that it's playing. is all over the place it's quite atonal it's not conforming to uh, parameters which so unless you plan on doing a, a 50s sci-fi movie where you want that retro atonal sound as uh, the guy in the fake spacesuit walks through the um, paper mache set this might not be the sound that you're looking for. So if you have any other specific concept of what you're doing, then in order to enable it, you're going to want to use scales. Now, Ableton Live has scales built into it. Um, these MIDI effects, you, can, you just go to MIDI effects. And you open up scale. And there you will see all the scales. It's very well equipped with a lot of scales, probably more than you're ever going to use in your lifetime. The average musician, that's for sure. Um, so, I think this patch I have is somewhat... Asian and I'm going to go with uh, a patch, a template, a, a scale template which has an Asian feel to it. I've selected this Hira Joshi scale and I'm going to double click on it. So now you can hear that this um, uh, patch is sounding, for want better words, more musical, more harmonious. So let's um, figure out what's going on here. So the way I've set it up, because you're going to want to be able to do this live. Uh, that's what this program is extremely good at. Um, I am feeding all the patches that I've created, all the sounds, the entire sound set is being fed by this one MIDI track. I've selected the source of MIDI on all these uh, patches to the, be this one singular track. So by adding the scale to this one first um, track it is affecting every single patch that's in the chain so every patch is going to conform to that scale that way if you wanted to change the scale say you wanted to put a uh, an F major scale in you could just drag the F major scale in there and all of a sudden you've got a completely different uh, harmonic sound so, you will also notice I already have a plugin in here. Now, this plugin is a uh, Max Live plugin. It's an excellent plugin called MicroTuner. The guy accepts donations, and it's a very, very good. Um, what does it say? Rob Tech. Uh, enhanced by Animatarium Rob Tech very useful tool here this um, value that I've entered in brings everything down to an A432 Hertz um, 
fundamental pitch. So by being in the chain, the MIDI sound is automatically transformed to A432. All you got to do is tune your audio instruments to A432 hertz also. Um, this is... I, I was really blown away that I could do this. Um, of course, the way I've got it set up now... Now, I haven't really analyzed this. I've just figured this out today. By putting it in the initial MIDI feed, hopefully it's going to go all the way down the chain and affect all the other patches. We're kind of experimenting here as we go. I have to tell you. Um, so, normally I would put the microtune on every single patch. I would have to duplicate it for every single patch that I'm using in the template, in the um, sound set. Um, now we only have it one time and hopefully everything is going to conform to that fundamental 432 hertz pitch. But let's not get too sidetracked by, by that. It's um, You might want to just play in regular pitch. In that case, you won't need that. You, which regular pitch 440 hertz. But the scale, you can hear it right now on one patch. I'm going to bring in some of the other patches and you can see what's going on here. This is sort of a rhythmic arc. Uh, setting that uh, gives a rhythmic element to, to the to the piece. Another marimba with block sound. Fills it out a bit, fills the sound out. Now, this patch here, I've done something else with this, and I uh, want to share that with you too. This patch, I already have the Hiragoshi scale set up in, in the effects bay. But you'll see that I've deselected all the notes from the very highest to the very lowest. And also I brought in a plugin, another MIDI plugin. Let's see, where are we? MIDI effects. We've got to get out of our scale to see it. Um, MIDI note length. Note length. Now this preset is called 10 seconds. And obviously what it does is extend each note to a 10 second length. So what does that sound like? Well, it uh, creates a drum. So it gives you this background drone which is supporting the music. And you can change this value. If you decide that's too long or not long enough, you can you can change that. Now, I also have this other plugin actually in effect on this, um, and I'll show you what's going on with that. Um, I have to keep the MIDI feed uh, going on, so. So you can hear the pad is swelling and surging. This movement is created by the Grandioso plugin. And this plugin can be found in your uh, chord 
section in the MIDI effects. You can hear the pad without that effect actually sounds very linear. You just have the, the low note and the high note playing simultaneously. By having this plug-in in there, it just gives it a lift. It gives it some life and uh, kind of a richness. So it's just a subtle thing, but Subtle things can really make a piece of music. I encourage you to experiment with a lot of these plugins. Now, I got to remind everybody this is all being created by a plant. Um, there's a plant behind me which is. Um, Putting out this, these MIDI notes through the uh, MIDI sprout. So how incredible is that? I mean, it's writing music for us, you know. Um, one analogy I give is that as a guitar player, I didn't build the guitar. I didn't invent the guitar. I didn't figure out how to break up the frets to create all those intervals. I didn't figure out how to put the electronics in uh, or to do any of that. I mean, a lot of us are able to do that, but we didn't invent it. It's been around for a long time. However, a lot of us play it. A lot of us um, have got very good at the guitar, uh, at playing the guitar. And um, the same thing is with plants. Plants, they hear what they're creating. And they actually express through what, they are, what is going on. You might find that difficult to believe, but if I turn off, um, if I turn off Ableton, what I've noticed is that the, um, the device stops putting out uh, putting out information for a while in any case um, but we'll get into that another time but I just want to bring to mind that we are dealing with a living being intelligence and uh, we need to respect that Okay, so I'll get into some more scales. This is uh, as far as I've got with this one. Of course, there's so many possibilities. We could, we could get into uh, changing some of the patches and mixing them and laying some out, muting some. But uh, that's really up to you guys. I'm just showing you a technique to to set things up, you can do the creating your own. Okay, thanks. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, the next episodes will feature more scaling, more interaction with the plants, and things I will be discovering on this journey. So please subscribe to the channel for future notifications. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.